Okay, notice what here? We're just going to use combinatorics to count out these outcomes. They're nice enough to explicitly mention that it's 20 integers from 1 to 20, just to double check that head count for us. So cool, we're going to select 5 integers. The total ways of selecting 5 integers out of the 20 would be 20 choose 5, right? What is the probability that 2 of the 5 integers will be a 10 and a 20? So that's two different terms. I need those to be selected. So it's like I have those to choose from, and I'm choosing those two. Now you'll notice that it just equals 1. But that should make sense, because we're just taking it as a given that I choose the 10 and the 20. So I pick, make sure those two are chosen. That's picking them. Now I need to fill out the rest of the uh, selection. So there are 18 numbers left, and I need to pick three more, because I need five in total. Okay, so that's, there's 18 numbers left after I selected these two, and I need to pick three, because I need the number I, I selected to add up to five. Okay, this looks kind of like a mess. Um, but we can cancel a lot here. 3 factorial, cancels with 5 factorial, down there, I'm left with 5 times 4, and everything in 18 factorial will cancel with everything but 20 times 19 down here. So I'm left with 5 times 4 over 20 times 19. 5 and 4 are 20, I'm left with 1 over 19. That's how it's done around here.